Hello and welcome to another Survivor Recap video for this week. And with that, I'll get into the notes. At Ua, Ricard and Shan continue to argue. Shan is still paranoid, but Ricard gave the extra vote back after Shan agreed to drop it the next morning. At Yasai and Luvu, the merged tree mill arrived with everyone excited. Nasir would love for Luvu to stick together. And then on to the, mer the part where they've um, been informed they're in the individual stage of the game. And the, this merge work, works out quite differently than what we've seen in the past. And Jeff informs the audience of the two-part episode and the merge is going to be different just before the castaways came in. No tribal council in this episode. Blue won the reward of a merge feast and the merge buff, while Blue chose to pick Nasir to join them with the merge buff, having been saved by the winning team. The merge challenge was very difficult on everyone, given that the game is shorter and there were no food rations throughout the pre-merge. And, um... Liana was the one struggling the most in that in the chat in the challenge. Basically, it was like dig a ball, dig a he heavy rock ball out of the sand, lift it out, and um, ride it through an obstacle course to a, a a platform wall, and then climb onto the ball and then get yourself to the get you and your team to the top of the structure. And then up there you would solve a puzzle. And then the first team to solve the puzzle would, um, would win the merge, the right to the merge feast and the right to be in the Survivor 41 merge, merge tribe fully in the full capacity. The merge buff team in, the merge buff team enjoyed their feast. The buff was only given to the winners of the challenge. Erica was sent to Exile Island where she made the most of her time on exile. After the feast, the merge buff team came back. Tiffany questioned Liana's loyalty after hiding the potential advantage the advantage she got. Or, um, in last week's episode, S something similar to Big Brother's cookout happened between the African American castaways, and the, uh, of course they bonded. And I think that kind of connects to the cookout just because it's a minority community coming together to s to say we're not going to target each other. So hopefully the alliance. This, this alliance is successful. At Exile Island, Jeff informs Erica got some advantage about smashing or not smashing an hourglass and possibly reversing the outcome of the challenge. And that's basically how the episode ended. And it's, it's a to be continued. Part two will be next week. So um, have a great weekend. And that's all I got. See you in the next devotion video.